students throw a ball horizontally from the top of the tower. The balls are released at a certain time. You need to already think of, okay, there's two students. One person throws a ball. Or maybe I use a different color to show. Okay, one person throws a blue ball and the ball goes like that. Okay, this is what we call a projectile motion. You have a certain initial velocity that gets the ball going. Okay, the first student throws a ball with a speed of 20 meters per second. Let's call this 20 meters per second. And the second tro student throws a ball with 10 meters per second. It's much a smaller horizontal velocity. So what's going to happen is, uh, there's uh, no air resistance. So what's going to happen is, the one that throws slower, will have a smaller range. Let me try to redraw that nicely for you if I can. Smaller range. Okay, something like that. 10 meters per second. So something like this. Okay. So which row describes the horizontal distance travel and the landing times of the two balls on the ground? This is a very important key idea for projectiles. Horizontal distance is affected by what? Horizontal distance can be calculated by a SUVAT or STUVA kinematics equation, S equals to UT plus half AT squared. But there's no horizontal acceleration. <coughs> so this whole part is gone. There's none of this thing here. So the range that is traveled horizontally, for example, this one is the horizontal range, depends on the initial speed or the initial horizontal speed. So the larger horizontal speed will give you a further range, which is this one over here. So the horizontal distances are different. Lah, so depends on what you, how far you throw and things like that. Okay, so these two are out. What about landing times? Would one take longer to land than the other? This one, there's a small misconception here. Now, the landing time depends on the vertical component, not the horizontal component so much. Because what is restricted is, for both of these objects, okay, it depends on how long an object takes to go from this height to the ground. Because once you hit the ground, you can't go, you, you have stopped moving, that's the end of your journey. So once you hit ground, that's it, time's up. So it is the vertical component, how the vertical velocity changes, that affects the time. Is the vertical component same for both of these? Yes, you start off at the same height, you're on the same planet, you have the same change in vertical velocity. So the times are the same for both. They will take the same time to, to hit on. Okay, because yeah, then you see my sx equals to uxt. Time is the same for both. So if you increase your velocity, initial horizontal velocity, you have a larger horizontal range, S of X. So that is the thing you need to remember. Landing times are the same because the vertical component is the same. You start at the same vertical height. So best choice will be C for this question. Mm. Alright, so any doubts, just comment below. But if not, that's the end of this question. I will see you in the next one.